What's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 12 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the pen tool effectively. Now if you guys aren't too familiar with the pen tool, basically the pen tool is for freehand drawing in Photoshop and then also it can be used for a bunch of photo manipulations and other stuff like that. Now, what the pen tool does that like other tools like the magic wand tool does is it allows you to go around an object with multiple colors. If you guys did not see my last episode 11 on how to get rid of a solid background, definitely click on the annotation up in the upper left. That might give you guys a little bit uh, better of a thing to do for just solid background. But the pen tool basically uh, right here in this image, as you guys see, I have a very fine lady on this motorcycle. And basically this has a lot of colors going on in the background. So the magic wand tool is not going to be uh, effective um, in this kind of photo. So I'm just going to show you guys how to use the pen tool to trace out this fine lady on this motorcycle. So guys, let's get started. So first what we want to do is we want to, of course, select our pen tool. Now to do that, it's just right above the typing tool. So just click that little guy right there. And then you're going to want to hold down Alt and then zoom in to wherever you guys are going to want to start. So I'm going to start over here on the front tire. So I'm going to hold down Alt and kind of zoom in over here. And then what this is going to do is we're basically going to um, trace around the tire. Now arcs are really tough for people because some people don't know uh, some of the tricks. So I'm just going to teach you guys those. So I want to choose an effective starting point. So the effective starting point is of course going to be at the top of the arc. So that's going to be right about there. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't have anything cutting out of this wheel because the wheel is already kind of um, oddly at an angle. So we want to make sure that we don't get rid of any of that tire um, as possible. So most people are going to start around here, about around, around here. What I do is I'm an effective graphic designer is what I would like to think of myself. So it's what I like to do is I kind of try to make everything perfect and uh, everything be uh, proportional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right about one fourth down. I'm just going to click and basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to drag down at first. And you see it almost fits the tire perfect, but up kind of uh, right above the point that we had selected, it's kind of off into the cement. So I'm going to kind of go down horizontal uh, to the right, and then that's going to kind of cut into there, and then right there just forms right there. So now that we have that effective point, we can actually start going around it again. But most people are going to just start going again, and then it's going uh, to have this kind of weird um, little guy right here. Uh, and these basically these lines are going to stretch out um, from the right and then to the left. So what we want to do is we want to hit Control Z, and we actually want to get rid of this line right here. Now you see that it has a perfect line with two dots going up and down and what we want to do is we just want to get rid of this bottom one so it's not going to try to uh, go on with this arc so we want to hold down alt hover over that point that we had selected and then just click it and then that's going to get rid of that bottom one as you see it zoomed in on it of course but uh, it got rid of it so now that we have that now we can just continue going on so we want to go down right about here and then just pull left and then it's going to kind of match up with the tire you kind of just have to play with it and then it'll meet right about there. So then we can hold down alt again and hit that point and then it just gets rid of them so we can keep going around this tire. Now I'm just going to do it a little bit fast for the time of this tutorial. So then we just need to put it right in there and now we have it perfectly around that tire. So that's how you guys would go around a tire and then you guys basically just keep going. Um, hit it around there, hold down alt, click that, hold down alt down here, got to give a little curve right there and then we can actually come all the way down here and just follow this kind of give it a little bit of an arc right about there and then just click up and then right here in these dark areas you guys really don't have to worry about those because people aren't going to know that those are part of the bike um, right here it's not a part of a bike it's just a shadow underneath the bike so I know that I need to go to the exhaust line hold down alt get rid of it and then curve around that exhaust all right, guys, well, I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to throw on some music, and then when I do get to a point that I think that maybe you guys might be a little confused on, I'll definitely stop it and explain it, and then I'll go on again. So uh, let's get some music. All right, guys, now that I'm back right here, I just wanted to show you guys a little kind of confusing area that you guys might run into on some photos. Right here, you see that if I were to go up this heel, I'm actually going to get stopped just because I'm not going to be able to follow the same line. If you guys do notice right here, this is just the inner part of the back tire of a motorcycle. So that's actually not the area that we want to trace. Um, so if I were to go all the way up here, it's going to look really odd. So what I would recommend is if you're at the tip of this heel point, I would actually just move right back onto the tire. 
So right about here, I'm going to just click and add an arc, and that looks like it's about fitting that tire. So I would just put like like that, and not a lot of people are going to notice that, and it just looks a little bit more professional for your point. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's one point that you guys could look at. So uh, let's start up some music again. All right, guys. Now that I'm back, I just wanted to show you uh, me tracing her ass real quick. So, boom, right there. All right, let's start up some music again. Alright guys, so now that I'm back, I just wanted to also point out a couple of things. Now you see that we are going to want to obviously get rid of what's going to be inside right here um, against kind of where the gas can is um, and where her tits are and stuff like that. Um, we're actually not going to be able to uh, get right in there at the moment right now. So in this situation, you would just want to continue doing this and then um, just continue. So yeah, so just continue around the bike. Now that we have this wireframe kind of around her and the bike, now what we can do is we can just say right click, say make selection, and then say OK. And then it's going to kind of select around her um, and around the bike. And then what we can do is we can actually uh, unlock this layer and just select OK. And we can say um, come up over here to select inverse. And then what we can do is we can press delete on our keyboard and press control D and that's going to deselect um, the bike and now we have the bike with a really nice looking chick uh, on the bike so now we have this so now what I wanted to show you guys was how to get rid of uh, of course this right here um, we have that so the background behind there and of course over here and to do that we might actually be able to use the magic wand tool to get rid of that stuff like right here we can get rid of that just easy um, stuff with the magic wand tool we can see it and right here this is the problem that we're going to come into is that when we select this it's going to actually um, want to select her body too so to do that we just want to take the pin tool again and just kind of trace around inside here I'm going to go really fast so just for the sake of this tutorials time and we can just come on down here and we'll just delete right about there all right, so we can just say right click, make selection, press OK, and then delete that part right out of there. And then uh, these parts are going to be a little bit harder. You might be able to use the magic wand tool on those as well. Yeah, we can just delete those out of there. Um, delete. It's not the right guy. I wanted to delete that. And this. Yeah, you can delete some of it with that. And then right there, it's going to select more of the body. So now uh, we're better off just selecting that like this and going around it. Um, since we already have the uh, kind of straps already right there, we don't have to really do anything to those. So we don't have to trace perfectly around those. Um, let's go up by her boob. Let's zoom in on her tit and come up here. It's kind of awkward. I'm tracing around a girl's tit while my girlfriend's sitting right here. Um, but anyway, we'll go around here and select right there we'll also add an arch right about here just go over the gas can all right perfect and then just me back at the starting point right about there and then just right click again say make selection say ok and then hit that delete button and then it'll get rid of all that excess crap um, that was in there now uh, the tires are going to be a little bit more tricky um, right down here you really can't see it so we don't have to worry about that area but right over here it's going to worry uh, me because if we use our magic uh, wand tool we should be able to select deselect all these and get rid of most of this stuff right there uh, we're gonna have to of course do it I'm um, in there because we are not gonna be able to select in there and right there so uh, right here is gonna be really fun for us so I'm just gonna speed up this part again as well <laughs> All right, guys, so now that we have that taken care of, so now we have basically everything traced out of this, and now we can use this image in any uh, anything we want. We can use it uh, in a photo manipulation. We can make this a uh, profile picture. That would be kind of creepy, though. Um, but, yeah, you can really use this in any way. So I hope that kind of taught you guys how to use the pen tool more effectively. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, definitely leave them in the comment section below. I'll definitely look over them and answer to you guys as soon as possible. 
Well, guys, until next time, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. My thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Owners and tastemakers make us no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle.